Hi guys, Pim Fenty. Right, welcome back. Um, welcome to my kitchen actually. Um, today I'm going to be processing some amadou down. As you can see, there's a lovely bits of amadou in these pieces I've recently found yesterday, I think it was. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some processing of this down today. I'm going to start the process, I should say, not actually doing the whole thing because I know it takes ages. So I'm going to bring you along in some bits. I'm going to bring you back. I don't want to show you every process. All I'm going to be doing is taking the shell off, the hard shell off, as well as these. This part here to, bring, to basically bring up the nice, beautiful pieces. So, yeah, I'll bring you back when I've some one or two, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so anyway, bye bye. Hey guys, as I was saying, I was doing this on my dick. I've done most, I've talked most of it, what I can. That piece there, I ain't touched. That piece there, I ain't touched. But the big one, as you can see, is all nice and chopped up. I've kind of got all the pieces I know I can turn into nice pieces. Right here. So yeah. Um nice piece there. That piece I don't really like so much, but it's a good piece. So yeah, I've done quite I've got quite a bit. Or not really quite a bit, but this is mainly just from the big one. So yeah, it's I'll go in. I'm not going to deny that, I'm not going to lie on that, it's hard going. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put this in with some hot water, I'm going to boil it for at least 10 minutes, hopefully, and then I'm going to um, grab one of my containers, I'm hoping to get some ashes, ash, from a fire soon, but if not, I don't know, I'll, I'll just have to work someone else out instead. So, yeah, right, I'm going to bring you back after I've done all that. Been half hour it's boiling for. I know I should have said five ten minutes, but it's been half hour now. There it is. There, I always put it in a container with the hot water. It's oops, sugar lumps. I don't want to put that too close to the laptop with the actual thing, and I leave that like that for 24 hours. So, after 24 hours, I will bring you back and then we will do the next stage to it. To me, doing the amadou is a long process. Well, you in like 24 hours. Hi right, guys, right then, it's been 24 hours, as I said in the last bit. Here it is. I'll take it out now. I do do it a different way compared to everybody else when I'm in the house. If I was out, I'd do it the same way as everybody else, but because I'm in the house, I'll do it the way I normally do it when I'm inside. There's a piece there. And that stinks. I hate the smell of it. That's the only problem I don't like when you've got a feeling bad urine. You get a real good sense of smell. Right, I use a warning pin when I'm in the house. If I was out in the woods, I would have just battered with it. But I'm going to bring it down. Sorry about the mess in this side of the kitchen, it's just that I'm trying to sort it out. And then I just roll it. As you can see, it's starting to break up some of the fibres. But yeah, this is what I do. This is what I do, guys. I do this quite a bit this way. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you should sure just be banging it. But. I find sometimes when I do it this way as well, works really well. Don't get me wrong, but bang away, it's quicker. And easier sometimes. There's that piece there, reasonably done. I'm going to throw another piece out. Grab one of the thinner pieces. I'll be done. I'll show you how quick, how easier that is done. Right, this is one of the thinner pieces. There you are. See, as you can already see the fibers waking up, um, thing opening. 
I don't really like to do this too much because sometimes it might break down a little bit quicker than what it should have. I'm not usually, don't really do this that often. Making Amadou, doing the Amadou. Because, okay, Troy, if I only use it occasionally. And the Will Blunt Archer, I don't really. I like using it. I used to find this stuff somewhat better than charcoal, but recently, as you all know, I've bought some Mad Dog charcoal, and I've just been practicing, practicing with that stuff lately. And that stuff, the bomb. I mean, literally, you can literally do anything with that stuff, and it don't really matter. It just literally, oh, it's a lovely stuff. So, let's be stuck. Yeah, this does take a little bit of time, so yeah, right. I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I'll bring you back on part two of me testing it. Me showing you uh, when I'm testing when I'm using it. And um, yeah, sorry if this video seems a bit long wounded. I do apologize about that. So, thanks very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.